Come look. This it is... doesn't even look like a shelf, but yeah, you can just pull these right out. Yeah, this is for a sub-adult gargoyle geckos, you know, um, after they're about a year old, maybe, you know. Maybe not even, you know, because some of these gargoyle geckos are almost ready to go in another tub. But, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I make these out of PVC just because they, you, you're using so much, you know, you're spraying them and all that, and there's... You're trying to keep some humidity, you know, so I figured the PVC would be a little bit better for these guys. But there's a red dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? I the reds. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. I, I actually don't want to touch them because I haven't put anything on my hands yet, but, uh, but that's a cool little gecko. Yeah, that's really. probably a brother to the gecko. That oh, I yeah, gave yeah. You right there. Pretty sure it is because the red... I have, well actually I think I got two guys. Uh, the red comes from Keg Stan here and Gustav here. Let me just pull out a little stuff and we can pull out a gargoyle gecko. Now that we're talking about him. Also, I, I enjoy how organized you are. You see he's got the cups here. He's got the little food stands. I am not that organized. Yeah. My stuff is, I'm Everywhere. looking around yeah. for it and I'm like, oh, finally. The thing is, is I, got, I got two guys that come over and help me out. And it, you know, I guess yeah. When he got help, and when he fires, he's he's bright red. His whole body. That's always the funny thing with reds. When they're fired down, they look so pale. But yeah. you can still you can still see it. it's like this little bit of pink going yeah. on. He has got nothing else really going on, but the but the red that comes out of this animal is insane. He's also got kind of a red rim around his eyes, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I was just noticing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. This this dude, he he makes all kinds of babies. He's a really good breeder. And the ladies like him too. That seems to be the hard part that I'm seeing is getting like first year males. Well, first breeder ready males. They don't like to breed. The, well, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I've had some that don't really, really get into it that much when they're younger, but once they hit that point where they have that weight, you know, mm -hmm. They, they they have no fear anymore and they, they just breed like crazy when they're when they you know you, they're the size that they can breed but they're still not really there sometimes they they fear the big ladies and they maybe, don't want yeah, to go maybe near that them, is know? just my problem because my they, male doesn't look be. like that I mean he's breeder ready he's above weight and yeah. he's, I don't know three or four years old at this point the other guy that the red comes from too this is this is keg stand he's a Oh my god, dude. He's a badass Look dude. Look at that. Yeah, we get a lot of, well, he's got kind of an orangey red. And, uh. Yeah, you can see, I like, uh, right where the, like, almost like where the cheeks are. You see that little burst of orange right there. Yeah, like, he, he's yeah. just, he's just insane. And, uh, he's also a really aggressive breeder. And, I mean, you put him in with a lady, she's getting it. You know I mean? It's crazy he's how much bigger the guard crazy can aggressive. get. I don't think people really realize that. I love they were a much bigger animal than a standard crested gecko. Yeah. I love the blue eyes against that background. That red, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just so cool. I got an amazing shot of the girl I got from you, and it's just, it's absolutely stunning seeing the contrast. You see, when you start seeing these wrinkles in the side like that, they're really starting to get that girth that makes them, you know, a formidable animal that, that when they stop breeding, they're not afraid of the females. They don't get knocked around, you know? I don't and know if that picked up on the mic, that like... Yeah. <laughs> it um, takes a unit. Here. This is... Uh, oh, this is Skid. She's pretty badass. And she's fired down right now, so Do she's keep looking... keep water bowls in here for humidity? I, I keep water bowls in there, yeah, and it keeps the humidity up. I don't spray that much. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not big wow. on the spraying. Any particular reason, or is it just a time thing? Um, it, it makes their food get really nasty sometimes, yeah. too fast. Yeah. And um, yeah, like I have seen food, especially in the summertime, it'll just get moldy yeah. when you're spraying mm -hmm. in the summer. So I, I only really spray in the winter, hmm. you know, when it gets dry. I do a little bit in the summer, but I always keep a water bowl in there, and they like to do the high dive and psh, yep. you know. And uh, it, it does, it keeps a good amount of humidity in there. And they will drink from a bowl too, I mean, because 
pretty much the whole summer I don't spray. Yeah. You know, and they got to be getting water from somewhere. <laughs> so I'm drinking the, the bowl, I'm sure of it. So she's a good looking girl. Yeah, guards are kind of like my new thing right now. I'm expanding from my um, little cresties up to these guys. Yeah, this is another girl that's. Do you work with just primarily red stuff? Is that um, like your thing? I like red and orange. I like striped stuff. Mm. Um, the way it is is like you can take. I've been taking. I, I've heard a lot. Kind of a good of idea for a hide. Mm -hmm. I'm learning so much right now. Oh yeah, the uh, yeah. What I do is I take one of these and I and I melt the hole with yeah. like a piece of pipe. I'll yeah. heat it up with a torch, and I melt the hole. That way it's nice and smooth. And yeah, yeah it works out pretty good. I've been spending like. You know, 30 bucks on all these Tupperware containers. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. He, she's a really good yeah, looking he, girl. And she's got nice blue eyes too. Yeah, I'm gonna get a... That might be the thumbnail. And, let's see. Got her. The, the, the thing is, like... <clears throat> I've been breeding... I've heard that if you take a reticulated and something that has red and you put them together, okay. you're gonna end up with um, with blotches, and that's how you get blotches supposedly. But I have taken the, then there's the other side where gargoyle geckos. If any, if you pair two gargoyle geckos, anything in their lineage like five generations yeah. back from either side of the pair can pop out, and there's kind of some truth to that too. Because I I take this guy Gummy Goo, right here. Brilliant name. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, is he comes from an animal called Gummy was his mother, and she was a blotch, and and Gustav is his father. So yep. I call him Gummy Goo, so I know mm -hmm. that he came from Gummy and Gustav. That's smart mm -hmm. stuff. Right? Yeah. And then so Gummy Goo is totally a striped guy. He's pretty badass too. But he's totally a striped dude, as you can Ooh. see, right? And I breed him to another striped girl, and I've been getting reticulated, I've been getting blotches, I've been get right here. Retic. You see, lovely, lovely, and that's lovely and gummy goo. Everything with lovely is from gummy goo. Okay. So, retic, uh, black and white. Uh, right? You know, it goes on and on. Lovely and gummy goo. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. This is this is one of the striped ones that came out of them. Kind of a nice, cool broken stripe. Yeah. Uh, lovely and this is another lovely. So this one is, oh, we named it Creamsicle for some reason. Oh yeah, this is another striped one. Look at that thing, huh? Wham! That's a nice guy. I think the orange. I don't know. I think the red might be a little overrated. Yeah, I got I got orange. I got orange and red. I recently got um I got a yellow gal. And I don't really see yellow that much. This is lovely and gummy goo too. And look at that. Bam! Blotch. What? Sweet. Well, you know, it's it's really kind of strange how all this stuff happens. You know. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm writing down everything I do every year and, mm -hmm. you know, and trying to get an idea of what's actually going on. But I got, I got two blotches, a retic, a black and white, a couple of striped ones from that one pairing. A little bit of everything. Yeah, it was pretty insane. But, uh, I guess I'll show you. This one's my favorite. My, uh, helper named him Hot Cheeto. Give me a hot Cheeto. Oh, imagine what that's gonna look like. Yeah, as that, that's gonna look real nice as an adult. <laughs> wow, like, eh, electric. Yeah, and it's orange and red, but I imagine it's gonna be all red by the time it's an adult. Seems to be what happens with a lot of them. Yeah, that's crazy because even at that small, I mean, they only get better with age. Mm. True, they do. When you see something that colorful as a baby, yeah, you, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, gonna be nuts. Ba bam by the when it when it's an adult. Um, I mean, a lot of these geckos, people, like they, the ones that I had for sale from this row and, and these two here, people were just walking right past them and not giving them a second look. And I'm like, guys, I got these really cheap yeah. right now. This is No, the if I had the money, I would have bought everything like, on that lot at the time. Mm -hmm. 
these are pretty cool geckos, you know. I mean, that's gonna be really nice. That's when gonna be really adult. nice when it's an adult. I mean, I've had I've had geckos guards from the past where they get at the egg just the slight tinge of orange. Yeah. And then a year later, they got a nice stripe going on. Look how nice and dark that is. Yeah, yeah, this one's really dark. I actually Very have one good. that looks similar to that. This one is uh, keg stand. So this one might be red as an adult. And you can have it if you want. Oh, are you serious? This yeah, is the I'm one? Yeah, serious. You can have it. Oh, or, or you can have one of these, I suppose. But that's a really nice one. That's a really nice one. Thanks, man. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. It's got, it, I know you like the red. And this one's likely gonna have yeah. a red base as it gets older, because it comes from kegs. Um, what is it? Kegs. Yeah, let's look, look a little close up with that. So you got a good chance of having another red animal if you take that one. Beautiful. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. No problem. It. No problem at all. I, I really appreciate you coming over and uh, driving through all that Boston stuff. traffic, man. Yeah, I really? swear. Right? Banjo. Hey, Banjo. Wow. I got some plans for this one. I'm Jesus gonna... Christ, it's almost like a full just stripe down the dorsal. Mm. I'm going to breed this one to the new reticulated that I got, is, mm. but he can't breed this year, but he'll probably be ready to breed next year. Let me show you that. It's, it's, it's uh, I, oh, what is it, aberrant retic or something? Yeah, yeah. It, it just has like a little bit less, um, in markings than than the average retic. Come here, kid. And it's not like a super crazy special animal, but when I see, you know, in my mind's eye what I can do with it. Come here, buddy. Come on out. This one's still a little doesn't like me so much. But there it is. So, that's awesome. Well, but yeah, it's got kind of a orange little tint to it and I, I haven't seen this one fire all the way yet but yeah i like how it has the you know the the markings there's just a lot it's not like super busy like some retics are like, yeah they got like just these tiny little yeah. specks of orange going on it's here if there. you see it it goes all the way up the back like it's the remnants of a stripe yeah and yeah. that makes me go oh i'm gonna breed that one you know with the heavy striped female and see if I can get blotches with big, big red blotches, you know? That's so gonna be cool. Going That's gonna be a good pairing right there. Yeah, I believe it will be. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I got this one for only $200. To oh. the show. I was like, yes, thank you. Jupiter's got kind of a weird look to her. I kept this one. It's She's not like super hyper special, but Look at the way that line breaks up the stripe, you know? I like it, yeah. It's really cool. I, I just had to keep this animal. Thought it would grow up and make some cool stuff, you know? That's what I dig about guards. It's doing the same thing. Like, something just looks a little bit different. I just keep mm. it. Yep. And it'll be yep. cool to see, you know, what that looks like in the future. Well, broken uh, blotch stripe. But he's, he's cool. Say hi. Oh, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fat, chunky stomach yeah, and everything. Yeah. And There's nothing better than a chunky guard. This guy's got some decent horns, too. He's definitely, they're definitely yeah. really prominent. Oh, yeah, they are. But the, the, the other thing, too, I, I haven't really been scoping my guys out and figuring if they got the long snouts or the short snouts. But I don't know. The, I know both kinds are out there. I don't know how far they are. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I haven't really, it's something I haven't really uh, started looking into. But you would think I would know by now with all these geckos, but. What was that? That was two girl. And she's a, she's a blotch. She's got like little teeny blotches. And keg stand. And I showed you Muma. Muma here on the bottom. She's a. Uh... Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, oh we'll yeah. look at her again. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a nice gecko. Yeah. I mean, she's got blotches on her legs. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. All the way down her tail. She's just heavy duty, man. She is so cool. Yeah, she's really cool. But yeah. she And she spits out babies, too. Which 
is nice. I'm hoping I, I last year I didn't get the right guy with her though, and she didn't like the mate I gave her. So this year I give her someone else, see what happens. That's so funny as you move up like the new Caledonian ladder. I mean, you can put any crested gecko with any crested gecko and they get the job done. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. I've never had zero problems yeah. I've ever had with a male hooking with a female, but it seems like with gargs, and especially more prevalent with um, chewies and leeches, yeah. it has to be the right pairing. Yeah, they, they do need to like each yeah. other. Like this girl, she used to pump this one and this one. I had this other male, and they loved him, both of them. And they they pumped out tons of eggs that, you know, eggs that hatched, you know what I yeah. mean? It's just, and just one after another, I was like, wow, that was... And he ended up getting a prolapse. And, oh. and uh, well, they cut the one one side off, and, and he just, and he still could breed, but everything the next year was all duds. Everything. I was really disappointed. And, uh, but yeah, and then the next year I put the put someone else with the girls, and they were just like, who's this guy? <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. like him. Who's my old boyfriend, you know? Yeah, I used to have really, a really, really nice fun. red that I paired with that, um, you know, brownish orange striped, and they hooked up great. I was getting, I did great my first year. She unfortunately passed, um, Impaction, egg oh, impaction, or egg bound, sucks. sorry, super egg sad. Bound. Oh, that's So really I sad. picked up this yellow girl, and yeah, like, it was 180 on, on like, how their behavior is. Like, they yeah. just ignore each other. Yeah. I've seen them kind of going for it, and she gets pissed off, and like, you know, does the whole yeah. bitchy thing. Yeah. And but now, like, I don't know. I when, think I need another male now. When they really don't like each other, you gotta watch out, too. Yeah, they can get they aggressive. I've seen, like, tails. scalping and stuff. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll fight each other so deep, it'll take the skin right off their head. I've, I've seen uh, yeah, tails um, go. I, I haven't lost a single tail on a gargoyle gecko yet, but I've heard they grow back perfectly. They yeah. do! Yeah. If you guys remember, I was selling this gecko as a tailless, and I looked like a complete jackass. <laughs> I don't know why, it was just a baby, and one day I opened a bin, and oh, you don't have your tail, and I don't know why. Huh. And it grew back, like two months later, I was like, holy shit. That's all it like, took, was two months? It was probably like two or three months, but wow. I, I, like probably like at the four to five week mark, I started noticing it wasn't a frog butt, it was actually growing, mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't know, it's been like what? It's probably been right around like four or five months. It has yeah. a complete grown tail. It's like with any other gecko, like, I don't know if you know Tokes, it kind of just makes a bleak tail, like it doesn't have any pattern or anything yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't know the difference. I was yeah. like, holy shit, they grow their tails back? Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of geckos what? do. Like, crested don't, but a lot of geckos do. Yeah. Was was the tip of the tail like black, like where yeah. it was growing back? Yeah, it was it like black. Okay, because I saw one at the show and I said, what's up with this guy's tail? Is that a tail that fell off and it's growing back? Because I've never seen it happen, you know? Gargoyles hold their tails really good, you know? And even when you're breeding them. Yeah, that baby was the so, first one. I don't know, I haven't kept gargs that long, a few years now, but mm -hmm. yeah, that was the first baby. And you know, hmm. you never notice it. So yeah, I went like three years without the knowledge that these geckos could grow their tails back. And <laughs> good stuff, man. All right, well, thank you for having me come over. Um, I learned some cool tips and tricks right now. We got the oh, takeout food thing. We got this stuff going on. I might be tweaking some stuff in my room because of this uh, visit. Perfect holes in your plastic without cracking it. And you can make the holes any size you want within, you know, the thickness of this thing. Awesome mm -hmm. way to make your holes. This man's Perfect. a game changer. Do you yeah. know how many times I've cracked it or like... Oh, you should hear him. When he's drilling holes. Yeah. I've ripped up my knuckles yeah, before gotta, too, because you gotta like want. hold it so tight because if it's just a regular screw bit. Just go to Harbor Freight. If you go to Lowe's, they're really expensive. If okay. you go to Harbor Freight, they're really like cheap. cheap. You don't need the fancy ones because you're just drilling plastic. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, awesome, okay. man. Well, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, man, a good time. A lot of cool snakes. If people want to find you anywhere, where can they get you at? Um, I'm on Facebook uh, under Andy Simmons. Uh, I don't have uh, Andrew's Reptiles Facebook, and, but uh, I'm pretty easy to find. I got a big old carpet python for a logo and uh, up there. And let's see, I, um, on and, uh, Andrew's Gargoyle and Carpet on uh, Instagram. And hopefully we're going to be making a page for YouTube. Uh, pretty soon to do um, do-it-yourself reptile uh, projects, you know, of all kinds. Wicked nice. I'll be bringing mm -hmm. your people here because a lot of people ask me about do-it-yourself and I don't do it yourself. <laughs> I ain't got the tools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been doing it myself since I was a kid, so 
you know, back in back when I first started keeping reptiles, they didn't make cages. Yeah, I had to yeah, yeah. So that's where where I started. Awesome. Good stuff.